Adding a layer to the stack can be done in different ways, depending on whether it's a layer based on an imported source in the project panel, a generator, or if it's simply a null layer. Adding a null layer to the stack is the simplest case because it's not based on a source. After creating a new composition, click on the plus button at the top of the stack and select Null Empty Layer. A new layer named Null will appear. Select one or more sources in the project panel, then drag and drop them into the timeline. New layers will be added and the corresponding sources will be connected to each layer. The order of the source selection will define the layer order in the stack, from bottom to top. Image generators, which are procedurally generated by Autograph, can be used as a layer source. You can access a list of image generators by clicking on the plus button at the top of the stack. Just like with the drag and drop from the project panel, a new layer will be added and the generator will be used as the source. Selecting layers is similar to the process of selecting files in your file browser, with some minor differences. Single clicking selects only one layer. Pressing the Ctrl or Command key allows you to add layers to the current selection one by one. And pressing the Shift key selects a group of layers between clicks. Keep in mind that when you press Ctrl or Command and click on layers, the selection order is retained. When you want to copy or paste a group of layers, this clicking order will define the stacking order of the new layers. The same is true for the shift key. Selecting from the bottom to the top will retain the current order, and selecting from top to bottom will invert the order of the new layers compared to the original ones. All layers in the current stack can be selected by pressing Ctrl or Command A, and deselected by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift A. When you press Ctrl or Command A, the selection order is defined from top to bottom. So if you copy or paste these layers, the original stacking order will be retained. Importing an image into the project panel creates a reader that decodes files and outputs images according to several parameters. When a layer uses this reader as a source, by copying and pasting it using Ctrl or Command C and Ctrl or Command V, or by duplicating it with Ctrl or Command D, this will create a new layer that also uses the same reader as a source. By default, when one or more layers use the same reader, all of its parameters are shared among these layers. This concept of sharing parameters is really important to understand because it's one of Autograph's key features. Should the reader's file path or any of its parameters be altered, these changes would be applied to both layers. Note that you can also locally override a single parameter and keep the others synchronized. When a layer uses a generator as a source, duplicating this layer will create a new independent generator used by this new layer. Nothing is synchronized by default. If you want to create two layers that share the same generator, you can use the copy paste shared feature instead, which is available through the action button at the top of the timeline. 